Hey guys, welcome back to one of my classes. The inspiration of today comes from the fashion world. Using Autodesk Fusion 360, today we will create a button that you can 3D print and sew to your shirts, jackets and other garments. To create this project, I got inspired by flowers and petals, but of course you can create other versions of the same button using other elements. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Creation of the base. First of all, we create the base of the button. Start a new sketch on the top plane and using the circle tool, draw a circle of 15 mm in diameter. Use the line tool then to create a vertical and horizontal line and transform them in construction lines using the sketch palette. These lines will be our symmetry lines. Use again the circle tool and anchoring the center to the grid, draw a circle of 2 mm of diameter. Use the mirror tool now in the sketch section of the top menu to mirror the first circle using the vertical line as symmetry line and repeat then the same operation to create the other two circles. Select now the space inside the big circle and extrude it using the extrude tool in the create section of the top menu and set the distance at 2 mm. Step 2. Creation of the first pedal. Start now a new sketch on the top plane and draw a vertical line placing one vertex on the origin and convert it in construction line. Use the spline tool then to create half of the pedal shape. Fix the shape moving the anchor points and rotating the handles until you are happy with the result. Make sure to have the handle of the top point horizontal. In case you need, use the selection filter to select properly only the sketch components. Use the Smart Dimension then to define the dimensions of the pedal. I'm setting the distance of the top vertex of the pedal 20 mm far from the origin. Once happy with the half pedal shape, use the Mirror tool in the Sketch section of the top menu to create the second half. Select then both the splines and use the Offset tool to create an offset inward the shape. I'm setting the distance at 1.25 mm, which is thin enough but still strong and printable. Select now the space between the two sketches and extrude it using the Extrude tool. Make sure to set the operation New Body and the distance at 2 mm like the thickness of the base. Step 3. Creation of the first layer of petals. To create the other petals, we are going to use the Pattern tool. Select the circular pattern tool in the create section of the top menu and define as pattern type pattern bodies. Then select the pedal and fix as axis the vertical green one. By default, the number of repetitions is set on 3, but of course you can make as much as you want. I'm doing my button with 12 pedals. Now we have a bunch of individual bodies that create our shape. Select the Combine tool in the Modify section of the top menu to merge the volumes and create a single body. Select as target body the base of the button and as tool bodies all the 12 petals. Step 4. Creation of the first petal of the second layer. I want to make the decoration of this button a little bit more sophisticated, so let's start a new sketch on the top plane again. Use the line tool and draw a line from the origin to the middle point between two petals and then draw a second line aligned with it and convert them in construction lines. We are doing these operations because we want to draw the next petals in between the ones on the first layer. Use again the spline tool like we did before and create half of the petal shape, making sure to make this one a little shorter. Play with the shape until you are happy with the result and then mirror the first half using the mirror tool to create the second part. Use once again the offset tool to create a second shape in words the first one, setting the distance again at 1.25 mm to stay consistent with the first layer of petals. Select now the space in between the two sketches and extrude it using the extrude tool, but this time set the distance at 2.5 mm because we want to create a three-dimensional effect and like we did before, set the operation New Body. Step 5. Creation of the second layer of petals. 
Exactly like we did with the first layer, select the circular pattern tool in the Create section of the top menu and select as pattern type Pattern Bodies and as axis the vertical green one. Set the number of repetitions at 12 like the first layer. In this way we will fill all the spaces in between the first layer's petals. Use again the Combine tool in the Modify section of the top menu to combine the new petals with the rest of the model in one single body. Step 6. Creation of the last detail. I want to finish the design of the button with another detail to make it prettier. Let's start a new sketch using the Circle tool on the top surface of the base. Keep in mind that you can use every flat surface as a plane to create new sketches and apply new functions. Draw a circle with center in the origin and tangent to the sewing holes of the base. Then draw a second circle with the center in the origin and diameter 13 mm. Select the space in between the two sketches now and extrude it, setting the distance at 1 mm. Check from different point of view to see the different three-dimensional layers we are creating. Step 7. Save and export your STL file. Save now your design in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud, clicking on the saving icon. I'm naming my project Flower Button. Notice that once saved, the new name appears also at the top of the left menu. Right-click on the new name to open the secondary menu and select Save as STL to export the file for 3D printing. Check the settings of the STL exporting menu and make sure to choose High as Refinement. Congratulations! Now you can 3D print your buttons and customize your garments. Check out kirakira.com to get inspired by other cool projects and share your design with our creative community.